and he is speaking this. Uh, this is a uh, conversation between Tamal Krishna Maharaj and Iskun Guru Prabhupada Disciple and Shri Narayan Maharaj. So Tamal Krishna Maharaj is saying, when we are chanting our japa, we are remembering the services described by Raguna Das Goswami in his Vilapa Kusmanjali. How he is preparing the cottage house near Radha Kunda, where Radha and Mohan will meet. How Rupa Manjari is massaging the feet and Ratti Manjari is massaging Shimati Radhika's feet. Oh, they are together uh, massaging no? Radha Mohan's feet. If we remember this kind of activities while we chant, is that all right? We are not thinking that we are doing it. We are remembering that they are doing it. And Purudiv Narayan Maharaj answers, yes, remembering and having some greed to serve in that way. If you hear the very deep meaning behind the past times, you will feel more joy and you will be able to remember with more greed. <laughs> Without pastime, not great coming. And she uh, uh, says, uh, for now, do as you are doing. And later, when Krishna and your Gurudev reveal what they want you to do, then do that. Now here, yeah. Not mention rather than mm. yes, yeah, slowly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tama Krishna is asking, can I ask some question? When we are meditating on the activities of Sri Rupa Manjari and Sri Rati Manjari, so we know what that our Gurudev is also assisting them. I want to know when you are meditating on your Gurudev, do you also meditate on assisting him, him in his service to Rupa Manjari? And Srila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj answers, we do so as assistance of Vinod Manjari. Sorry, can you repeat me? We do so as assistance of Vinod Manjari. Vinod Manjari is the spiritual form, the Manjari form of Srila Narayan Maharaj Gurudev, mm. Guru Devi. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Yes, so he is saying, yes, I'm meditating on my service, mm -hmm. or I assist in my spiritual form, mm -hmm. Vinod Manjari, in the service of Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. Mm. And then Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking, how does a disciple, just as you are his disciple, how do you meditate on assisting Vinod Manjari? And then uh, Narad Maharaj said, I will tell you afterwards. You will also know your Gurudev by his grace and you will meditate accordingly. As our Acharyas have done, we meditate on our Gurudev as a very near and dear Saki of Rupa Manjari. Yes, yeah, Saki means friend. Yeah, friend, exactly. Sometimes the Saki word is in this regard friend. So we are very not to understand that Saki can also. Right. That sometimes gets mixed up. We don't they understand that Saki means Saki Baba. Saki Baba. Yeah, that is the point that actually Raghunath wanted to clear some obvious study. But like you said, it put, was out of the context because the Sakis were not present in that. Room. So, like a near and dear friend of Rupa Manjari, who has qualities like those of Rupa Manjari, but not exactly the same. And then Tamal Krishna is asking, um, as we are assisting our Gurudev in our sadaka form here, will we also be assisting him there? And the answer is, the form of your Gurudev which you have seen and served will surely come to you and you can pray to him that his form as a manjari will manifest in your heart. Manifest is a, your practice, huh? Prachoda, yeah. yeah. Yes, you have to afford for Oh, that. yes, you, it's your effort that... Uh, he can give you. Exactly. <coughs> not mercy will, by mercy, not coming to you. You have to afford for that. I, I, can I, I have to afford that Gurudev gives me one day, <coughs> he reveals his form to me or explains yeah, mm -hmm. you have to do some mm -hmm. See, eagerness and yeah. show that I meditation. Really you have to. It's not something that comes like <laughs> order supply. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you make a click on your phone and then ah. Yeah. So, but can I effort means also the sadhana in that way greed. also. Greed. Mm -hmm. You have greed for that. Then Guru give them. Mm -hmm. If you not grow what he said on that, 
then you are not progressing in your spiritual life, then you are not greedy for inner practice. Without material practice you are not fit to do. Or you can do inner practice. Mm. He says that um, you can pray that his form as a, or his spiritual form will manifest in your heart. But need. He said that he is needed in a practice. Yes. Vaidhi Vakti will not work on mm. Means that it's not only that we serve externally, no? We have to come to this inner desire to really know who I am in my reality as a spiritual soul, as a servant of Gurudev and Shrimati Radhika, and also who Gurudev is in his service to Shrimati. <coughs> this must be some intense desire. And then when they give you his their darshan, when he gives you his darshan, meditation will be very easy for you. Mm. It is certain that he will give you somehow an idea of his form. His form. He will give you an idea of his form. Yes. Mm. To more easy to you. Yes. But if we give hints or... No hint. He will give you somehow. Also some. <laughs> Try to understand. Yes, if your greed is there... He's preparing, preparing them. No. He said that if you have a greed, he will see somehow he will give you. Yes, mm. yes, it will happen. Mm. It will not. He will give you. He will give you really, yes. Right. Somehow, means not willingly, but he will give you. knowingly that you will not practice. <laughs> knowing that you are not qualified, but this is causing uh, but, but somehow you will be under your pressure. You will <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain this? Yeah, that uh, <laughs> Gurudev say that Gurudev is so merciful that even when he feels that we have so much greed and desire na, to go in this understanding and to feel Gurudev in his mantra service, he will give to us somehow. Even if he sees we are not able to practice or, you know, we are not fully qualified. But he will give if the greed is there. Knowingly that he will not do. <laughs> oh. Somehow it's under pressure. Under pressure he gives, but he knows that he will not do. Because outside you are not doing, then how you will do inside? Mm. Mm. 
And um, for now you can simply pray to him, please manifest yourself as you serve in Krishna Leela. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Krishna Leela. <laughs> Very general. But yeah, Krishna is alone in his Leela. Because they are just babies also in this day. He's talking very hiddenly, but at some time <laughs> it, ca it, it gets good. Yeah. Because they are so fixed on Krishna, huh? he cannot always speak. And Puri John uh, says, Tanno Guru Prachodayat. No, because this is part of the Gayatri Mantra and that is uh, praying for please reveal yourself to me. Mm. And uh, Narayan Maharaj says, yes, that is the Guru Mantra. We should know that our Guru is certainly a friend of Rupa Manjari performing all varieties of services to Shimati Radhika under Rupa Manjari's guidance. There he becomes direct again. He's, he's like, yeah. So confused, huh? That is where, that he say he knows, but he maintains both sides. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it, uh, confusion is there. Nobody read this to understand this. Mm hmm. We need to help, good. What he says clearly that Rupa Manjari is doing service to Srimati Radhika and our Gurudev is helping or is a friend, is an assistant under <coughs> Rupa Manjari's guidance. Mm Now comes the level where they are, Gurudev, and this is all our levels, actually. We have this tendency to mix. Can I ask you a question, says Tamal Krishna Maharaj? For example, what form does our Guru have, Gurudev have in Chaitanya Leela? And Narayan much answers as he is, as he is now. You have seen him. That is the Sadaka Dea. You see. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is the form. And Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking, but we may have seen him over a period of so many years and we see that his form has changed. And uh, Gurudev says, yes, you remember what you have seen. Also, Advaita Acharya was old and Srinivas 
Acharya was also mature, but, and so many others, they had different ages. But Tamal Krishna says, I have some doubt about this point. We understand that the Siddha Deha, the spiritual body, is eternally youthful. But our Gurdjieff's body was elderly, so why, you know, is this aging? <laughs> and then Srila Gurdjieff answers, you will realize that form by his grace. As far as his sadaka form is concerned, you should only remember what you have seen. Wow. Chirade. It is essential for you to know that neither your Gurudev nor our Gurudev, also my Gurudev, he says, have a material physical body. Their bodies are spiritual. They are not like the bodies of a conditioned soul. Their body, mind and soul are Satchit Ananda. Yeah, this is some, um, they have some problem to see the Sadaka Deya of Gurudev and then think about Siddha Deya. But no, read all. Just as your Gurudev has shown you his eternal identity of Vinod Mandri, he may have an eternal identity in Chaitanya Leela. He's asking now about this Chaitanya Leela and Vrindavan Leela. <coughs> and then uh, Shri Narayan Maharaj is answering, I witness my Gurudev serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this body. In this body? Mm, in this body, no? My Sadaka Deya, his Sadaka Deya. As I have seen how he served, you also seen how Prabhupada served. We should always remember him as we know him. This is his Sadaka form and he has another a Siddha form, a spiritual form as a, a maid servant in Goloka Vrindavan to serve Radha and Krishna. But, so that means when he says Sadaka, it means also in, the, in that body and in, in this time, yes. not in that time of Right. He said the now. Chaitanya Leela is now going now. on. This is the Sadaka form. Okay. Don't think anything else. Sita? Jaram, um, Balram Bawa Kadaku. 
So that is uh, this point because they have some confusion about eternal Chaitanya Leela, how Prabhupada will look there and how he will look in the uh, eternal uh, Nitya Leela of Radha and Krishna. And, but he says that in gist that uh, Guru <coughs> will give us information or reveal to us his eternal form in the time of our greed is very mature. No? Now comes something about Tulsi, but I don't want to. Why not really? You want this, could it? Okay. Why you? Could yeah, I just want to about the spiritual body, but now ah. it's another question. Why you can ask? It's a good. Okay. In Goda Lila, also Srila Gurudev answers, in Goda Lila, Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanata Goswami served him by rendering many services. plastic bag Yes, in Goda Lila, Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami <coughs> served Chaitanya by rendering many services, among which was writing literature. And your Gurudev, also Srila Prabhupada, has also done all these things. When he was in Goda Lila at that time, it is not sure that he would have performed that same service. He has played his role now, but in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes, he may not have done so. He has preached throughout the entire world. Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatana Goswami only served in Navadvip, in Mayapur, in Vrindavan. Surely he said that they can travel. Yes. So that what he is explaining to him is that, uh, you understand, Shama? Shama? No, he will understand last if you read fast. Last sentence, you know, is like a Rupa and Sanatana serving Navadhu? Yes, they have been serving mm -hmm. with writing literature and Srila Prabhupada has also done all these things, mm -hmm. like writing mm -hmm. or explaining. Mm -hmm. When he was in Goda Lila at that time, you know, at that time when Goda was there, it is not sure that he would have performed the same service. He has played his role now, or this role now. But in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes, he may not have done so. He has preached throughout the entire world. Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatana Goswami only served in Navadvip, in Mayapur, in Vrindavan and Puri. And your Guru Srila Prabhupada served all over the world. <coughs> we need not imagine anything. 
we should understand that in the Sadaka Deha that we have seen, he has served Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking, I have one last question regarding Srimati Tulasi Devi. Is there a separate jiva in each Tulasi plant? And he answers, each plant is a manifestation of Tulasi Devi. Tulasi Devi can manifest anywhere, just as Krishna and Radhika manifest everywhere. Krishna and Shivati Radhika manifest in unlimited universes as well as in Murti Gors. <coughs> Similarly, Shivati Dulasi Devi manifest in unlimited universes and in unlimited places in the form of a plant. <coughs> We can understand from the example of the Shalakam Shila. There are so many Shalagram Shilas, but it does not mean that Narayan is different in each Shila. He is not like the Jivas. In the same way, Tulasi is one. All the Tulasi plants are the same Tulasi. They are not separate. And then Tamal Krishna is asking, are they, they are not Jivas? And Purdev answers, no, certainly not. There are so many pieces of Govardhan Shilas hundreds and millions of shilas, and Govardhan is fully present in each shila. Mm. Oh, as the shilas are non-different, Govardhan's tulas is also one and the same. Sometimes the name Tulasi Manjari is used for Rati Manjari, that is Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his form as a Manjari. <coughs> Raghunath Das Goswami has two names in his Siddha form. Tulasi Manjari and Rakti Manjari. And Tamal Krishna Maharaj asks, is this the same person? Yes, it is the same, he says. Then uh, Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking, is Raghunath Das Goswami Tulasi Manjari 
And the Vrinda Devi, is she a duty, a messenger of Vrinda? And uh, Gurudev answers, no, Tulasi is a separate personality. Tulasi Mandri is one personality, and Tulasi is another. So, can I ask, uh, so Tulasi Devi exactly for uh, us, what, what is it? Because honestly, uh, I have uh, no realization obviously, but also I don't know what is this, why we adore. To see Krishna Priyasi, to see is giving Krishna Bhakti. Yes. Narayan Bhakti, Vishnu Bhakti. <coughs> this is the basic. If he's not there, we cannot grow. We are not doing anything even for the God worship. <coughs> and how to develop bhakti for the God to see is given. <coughs> Bhakti Devi, yes, Bhakti Devi. She is Bhakti Devi. She is the goddess of Bhakti. Uh, so it means that it has a, a, a form as goddess also? No. At Vrinda Devi. She is a Bhakti. Bhakti. Bhakti form. Devotion, how meaning of devotion uh, she teaches. Okay, we sing the meaning of devotion? If we sing this Rinde Maharani, no? that's a different. We'll see Krishna Priyas. And then the Maharani is just outside. Mm. Vrindavan song is to seek us. <coughs> so is a personification of Bhakti. Right. point is coming also more clear. They are having more questions about the guru of uh, yeah, this, this chat that was closed good if and I and the question now that they have is also important. Now they are asking uh Shila Narayan Maharaj if we think of Srila Prabhupada as a manjari, as we know that he was a manjari or is a manjari in theory, mm. 
and then we meditate on this and we want to be with him again or her is this greed mm. is this greed mm. they want to know what is greed mm. like I do my service now like I'm Prabhupada disciple and I know in theory that Prabhupada is the mantrari in, in, in Srimati Radhika's service, in Rupa Mantrari's service. And I, I am greedy to come together with him again. Is this working? Hmm? <laughs> Because they all think no, that, that this is enough no, for them. They don't understand this point. And then Sri uh, Guru is answering, how will we understand it when we are not at all engaged in Raga Nuga Bhajan? <laughs> And we know nothing about the facts regarding the performance of Raga Nuga Bhakti. And then he says, this idea does not represent Raga Nuga Bhakti. He's clear on this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like this. They ask him, if we remember Prabhupada and we know that he is like a spiritual person and if we are greedy to serve him and that we want to go with him where he is in the spiritual world or wherever he is, is the greed and he says this is not the process of Raga Nuga Bhakti. And to explain, he don't understand. Explain it. Yes, when, if, for example now, my Gurudev, I love him, but I have no understanding or his, his revelation of who he is in his spiritual existence. Then it doesn't work that, like that, the greed, that I can come into the spiritual world. This is not, uh, uh, Narayana says that this is not uh, the process of Raga Nuga Bhakti uh, to have just some maybe theoretical knowledge that there is a spiritual body, that there is a spiritual world. If I not have any connection to this by my Gurudev, it doesn't work. <laughs> And then they ask, the Prabhupada disciple ask, yeah, but uh, can you read the line? What if one has greed to have darshan of his guru again? No, what if if one has greed to have darshan of his guru again? If you not read his line now, it clearly will not happen. That yes. has read your line. Yes, And then he is answering, if one has received diksha in the true sense, if he has had sufficient connection with his Gurudev in his past life and in this life, And he has sufficient past impression on his heart. Mm -hmm. 
un'azione diciamo, registrata nel proprio cuore no? Then it may be said that he has genuine greed. We must consider whether or not that greed is genuine, is real. If you are serving and hearing from your Gurudev and performing Vaidhi Bhakti, then after some time, by the association of your Gurudev or any Rasika Vaishnava, You may gradually come to Raga Nuga Bhakti. At the same time, we may see that someone has the greed without having taken any help and without having taken taken proper diksha. Allo stesso tempo vediamo che invece qualcun altro ha lo stesso desiderio senza aver vissuto quel processo di valore senza magari aver preso He says at the same time we may see that someone has the greed without having taken any help and even without having taken proper diksha. Mm. And he says, like Harik Das Thakur, he's asking, like Harik Das Thakur? And Gurudev answers, more so, like Bilva Mangala Thakur. Such a devotee is Raga Nuga. We can know whether or not a person is a Raga Nuga Bhakta. By his actions and thinking. By his action and thinking. One's bhakti is vaidi in the beginning stages of his development. Explaining nicely. In the beginning, body has to do, body bhakti has to do in the beginning. Means we follow all the rules and regulations. All the procedures that are <coughs> like a recipe we have to follow. You have to mix vegetables. A pizza, you have to give all recipes. Yes, first the dough and then the yeast and the water. This is by the bhakti. Mm -hmm. And what is raga bhakti? When pizza is ready, you eat is a raga bhakti. <laughs> <laughs> raga nuga is when the pizza also loves to be eaten. <laughs> yeah. some, some taste is coming, Guru. Taste is coming. <laughs> You like to eat, you have a belly to eat one pizza, you eat two pizza. <laughs> that is raga. <laughs> Because it's so tasty. Oh, no. <laughs> and you make the pizza, and you are making pizza only, and you are not eating that, it's <laughs> also a problem, no? Then it's no raga, it's a bhakti. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If I know it is not a raga, mm -hmm. I know love pizza. 
I just make it. <laughs> I know only to make, but I don't interested in eating. Mm. I'm not interested to eat and in feel it. I'm very calculative of all the spices. Mm. And I make many varieties of pizza. I learn from very traditional people. Well, what is the use of making all this? If not, you eat. That. No taste coming good. No taste of pizza. How it happens. So once bhakti is vaidhi in the beginning stages, and after that by hearing from Gurudev or a Rasika Vaishnava, true greed can come. And now he is bringing this point again strongly. <coughs> then one question comes from Danoda Maharaj. You know Danoda Maharaj Nagudi. He's speaking about his god brother. But Giriraj Maharaj greed is not out of fear of the Shastras. He has so much love for Prabhupada that he will do anything to get his darshan again. <coughs> he will manage, he will go to any place in the world, he will do Shravanam and Kirtanam. So, what is this kind of greed? And Srila Gurdjie is answering, this sort of greed is Vaidhi Bhakti. Again, explain the normal. Both of the all three that's missed. He said because uh, he's uh, directed to the body of the Guru. Yes. Because he is, he does not follow or has no understanding of what is Raga Nuga Bhajan. Like he tries to make the pizza but not eat it, that he has also no guidance in this from his guru or any Rasika Vaishnava. That's what we see. We need Rasika Vaishnava association to get understanding of Raga Nuga procedures. And it comes now, Guru, if he's explaining. And now it comes the point also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the Sadaka Deha only and they don't and they don't and then they again ask again and again, but we have greed and what is our greed and is it not also really greed because we love them? And then now Shila Raima just giving the clear cut last <laughs> if you truly know that your Gurudev is Vinoda Manjari or any Manjari,
And if you have any, if you have genuine greed to serve him in that form, that is Raga Nuga. Mm -hmm. Or actually Rupa Nuga. And also Raga Nuga. On the other hand, if you have greed to serve him with knowledge only of the form you have seen, his sadaka form, it is not Raga Nuga, it is Vaidhi Bhakti, is this clear? Now clear, no? <coughs> you should know all this truth. So I am explaining it to you in brief. So like Gurudev also said, we have to eat the pizza. No? Maybe Prabhupada did not give them this instructions of Raga Nuga Bhakti because they were not ready. So now actually they have a situation that there is a Rasika Vaishnava who wants to help them. But they still stick, like they still think, oh, Prabhupada uh, is also Manjari, we know it now, we have heard it, we can follow him and we will be there, no? Ah, okay. Right? They accept the association mm. no. of other Rasika. And that's what they did. Mm. They did not accept. But this is a problem. No? Mm. If you if you don't surrender to Arasika Bhakta, you cannot also receive it. It's very rare that that devotees have already from but, past life maybe. But uh, <coughs> hearing this uh, comes that what would they say that is that uh, is if I understood well maybe you can say if it's wrong. Uh, you can first come Istanista and after come Guru Nista. So I mean that question for me is looks like somebody who has not Istanista to make like this question, I don't know. Well they they are only on one uh, platform of of Vaidi and they they have no understanding of this Ishta Nishta or Swarup Nishta or they are just in the beginning of Guru Nishta but they see only Guru as a Sadaka Deha. No? Yes. Because Prabhupada did not reveal to them his, his spiritual form. He did not speak about it to them. And so they are confused in this. They have no, no platform to go further. And that's why Narayan Maharaj Gurudev is trying to help them and say, okay, Prabhupada did not give you this. He was only here for a very short time. Mm -hmm. Now any Rasika Vaishnava can give you this Raga Nuga practice. Mm -hmm. But you have to take it. You have to, you have to eat the pizza, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to not only uh, talk about it. You have to, to <coughs> practice it. What is Istanishta? Hmm? Istanishta is... is Faith in uh, Shrimati Radhika or mm -hmm. Ishta, mm -hmm. Ishta our, our spiritual uh, goddess. No? Mm -hmm. And they did not know that it's all through Shrimati Radhika mm -hmm. that you go to the Manjari bath. That because Prabhupada did not explain this to them because they were not ready. Mm -hmm. He had only 12 years, you know, and he had to make temples and preach and yeah. Bhagavad Gita. He was in the platform of, uh, you know, beginners. 
Mm. But they think they are gurus, so that's a very mm. big, like, uh, how you say, like a problem for them. <laughs> mm. And then this fatal thing happens that they have now the pro they have possibilities to get it, but they don't want to uh, take it. Mm. They're afraid. Mm. And this happens also here, Gurudev says. Mm. That often we have Rasika Vaishnava association, and but we don't take it in the right way. We don't eat the pizza. Gurudev says. Also, it happens. It can happen. That is not only because Prabhupada was gone. <coughs> Translates. Just the other day, Gurudev was saying this to me. He said, Many bhaktas here, also my devotees, are still in Vaidhi Bhakti. Mm. But here you mean also in Vrindavan? Yes. Yes. It's a Angana government temple temple that they are going to be able to do what is going to work. It's not going to be able to do what is going to work. So the Guru is seeing this, but if disciple is not greedy, he will not say anything. That is the same. So the next step of the Latin is the area. Thank you, Sunita. Good, if they're good is that he's mentioning it. Because if we don't have the greed to go through, you know, like maybe this painful opening of our eyes, then Guru will not say. He said the same yes. Yeah. He said yeah. if somebody uh, has not greed, he cannot do anything. Yes. This is this um, desire because the desire is actually very uh, personal thing. Huh? Lord, it will not give anything on us without desire of us. That's why he says it's not that greed is important. <laughs> and then we think, oh yeah, what is this? What is this? Um, it is like a fire of the heart to to be conscious about the good luck that we have now, and then take the chance also to get this kind of fire inside fire. Oh no. Please, Gurudev, help me and, and do with me as you like. So when Gurudev says these things, then I also have to check myself. Where am I stuck? in my development, where is, and how can I show to Gurudev that please help me, even if it's painful, no? I have to ask myself this every day. No? This was also some subject of class yesterday, Sunday class, no? the, uh, Zoom. Mm. The the condensed feelings. If they are not, if we are not in process with condensing our feelings, then it's very difficult for Guru to to help us. Mm. If we keep Guru on this external level of priest. Mm. It's, uh, it's possible. 
maybe we are not conscious about it because uh, we have many old habits from old past lives. Mm -hmm. We are not conscious even that we only use Gurudev as a priest. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes maybe even just like small nuances, not that maybe it's not like completely like this, no, and then you think, oh, I don't have it. But then in some small, small things I see, oh, but in this situation actually I put him like a priest, no? Like in small nuances, yeah, no? yeah, that yeah. I see, oh, still I'm behaving this way, you know? Like some this... I think the opposite of greed is uh, complacency, Selbstgefälligkeit. Mm -hmm. When we become uh, satisfied with a situation as it is. Mm. Yeah, we, should we don't not. take them every day like a chance. So, mm -hmm. You know, complacency. This we we stay happy mm -hmm. with how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not good. And we cannot advance in our spiritual. Yes. Forse le sigarette sono occupate da una desiderata. He asked maybe or Sati asked also maybe also because of our uh, desires are uh, still material desires. Mm. But I seen even uh, funny thing is with Gurudev that um, what my experience is, even if we have de uh, sp uh, material desires, but if we have greed, to change. anyway he will help us. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference actually. <laughs> but he needs to see this. Yeah. yeah. And even if we think we have no greed, but he's he can see really how we are. Yes. yes. <laughs> He's helping us through all the circumstances. <laughs> Once I was a blaming Gurudev, I said, <laughs> Why do you let my husband have ten houses? <laughs> Is this not some entanglement? <laughs> I ask him this, you know, is this not too much? Why, you know? Because I come from background of monk and nuns life. No? I come from background of Iskund and always it was about not having so many things. So I try to avoid uh, property. Responsibility. And yeah, many work. things it's I try to avoid. But then Purity said, no, 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 this is all very good. It is all uh, uh, for his development. It is perfect. Yeah. Well, uh, he has to go through this, and then it will be quickly finished. <laughs> This is all the guru can yeah, see, really, no? Like, yeah, that we cannot see. Yeah. Yeah. No, like yeah. we see only external, no? from the body and the mind. And uh, yeah. but uh, yeah, with, with this other vision, with this divine vision, exactly, uh, Shrimati Radhika is using Guru Manjari how to make quickly, quickly if the greed is there, you know. Mm. And now you see also how he is mm. jumping. Uh, with all, no? it is. It's not external. It's the inner desire to really grow, and then also good if this can make a process and change all our desires. But you know, we have to be ready on this. How do you say this? To be on the altar of this, you know, we have to be ready to be giving all and to accept all and not be afraid. When there's too much fear, it is a blockage of this flow. Mm.
Shri Radhe. I mean, uh, you know, at that time, can you imagine also Srila Narayan Maharaj? He was in a very difficult situation. He wanted to help them, mm. but they were so fixed on Prabhupada, mm. no? even though he was gone, that it's, uh, you know, he cannot say, but now I'm here, I'm like a Rasika Vaishnava. Mm. I, you can, you know, I can explain to you. He, he's not doing self-advertisement. Yes. Mm. So Gurdiv is also not doing this. He is not making any self-advertisement to us. He can only sometimes say general things. Like he says, I see, oh, they are still in Vaidhi Bhakti. And we are like, oh, oh, how can I advance? How can... <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you can ask who if the oh if you feel this in me, then help me to overcome this blockage, you know? We can ask and we can also pray for this. We can have this desire that it doesn't matter what, but help me to come out of my you know, conditions that keep me bounded. And then also try to be honest with this. What is the process then? Mm. When we are the blocked in, in Vaidhi but we think we are practicing Radha Nuga? Everybody else but his time he blocked. But when his greed comes, he obeys himself. Oh. But releasing is a process. Chanting and remember, mm. thinking of past. Then, once you leave, I start floating. Jaiho. You got this, Shama? When uh, Gurudev said that um, we are all bound somewhere, no? Mm -hmm. But when the greed comes and we are following, like chanting with uh, Smaranam, this, with this Leela, what we have heard from Bodhi, mm -hmm. or the, and then the false ego will go away and it will be quickly resolving. So greed makes the speed. <laughs> greed makes the speed.
So the, uh, if we are blocked in one position, then uh, Gurudev is saying that if we have the, the intense desire and we follow the Raganuga Bhajan process, like this chanting with remembrance, then it can go quickly. We come out of our things. Otherwise, you see also this uh, example of the Prabhupada disciple. They have some. They don't. They don't have the teaching or like the guidance in Raga Nuga Bhajan. Then it's very difficult. It's like difficult if you don't take the guidance. For many many lifetimes, it can happen that you don't have Rasika Vaishnavas. 